Hey guys, back again. Um, some drop stage. Um, yeah, I'll just um, start in my um, little hot bag and just put 25 grams remain of citra for dry hopping for a week. It's been a week today. I just got home from work. It's in at 21.1 degrees. That's all right. It was a bit high, in it? Had to put a bit of ice on top. And keep your towel moist, just keep temperature down a bit. It's been so warm. We've had a few bushfires not far from here. Um, so yeah, you know, she's looking good. The aroma, the citra pile, smells really good. Before I'll give you an update, move this towel out. Uh, I smell it reminds me of that Paros Pale Ale I got from Seven Sheds Brewery, local brewery up the road. It smells really amazing. Turn down a reading, I'll do a reading on the weekend. Do a two day reading. It stays the same old bottle. So I'll take this off and I'll start in the slid in a minute. Oh, she looks really good. Still a couple of bubbles coming up, so it must be still fermenting. It smells freaking amazing. It smells more like a paradise pale. That video I did craft beer really amazing so i'll just dump that in there dry hop should be right i can't wait to try this yeah if sun grow just 104 so it's gonna be about 3.54 percent beer i don't mind that at all quite sessionable yeah 100 grams pops all up 40 minute boil at 25 a 20 minute boil 25 grams again, flame out while it's chilling the grain work down, another 20 minutes at 25 grams, um, yeah so it went good, um, now after a week just dry hop with the remainder 25 grams of citra, uh, smells fantastic, about a week's time a bottle or a bottle on Sunday coming so 4 or 5 days. That's it guys, just a quick update on how she's looking. Yeah, it's nice, it's looking fantastic, it's cleared out a lot. You know, I use a lot of carrot peels and that, um, ale malt, and a tiny bit of peels and that. But, Tommy, come back to the next video. About five, five six weeks time, just do an early taste test. Yeah, I reckon I'm going to batch bulk prime maybe, I don't know, or I might just do the teaspoon and half teaspoon method I oh, don't know well, I might just do a couple half teaspoon methods just to compare um, the difference between just bulk batch priming yeah so I might even just do that just do a couple of them just put a couple aside and just do yeah carbonation comparison but anyway guys um, Happy Homebrew Wednesday, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. I'll do which, uh, not sure what yet, actually, to be honest. I'll find something. Yep, cheese.